you guys meet? Boss, this is my cousin Chantry. Well, yeah, it's one of our all-time favorites. He's been in the show like thousands of times, and we are happy to be here with Daniel Radcliffe. Daniel, how are you? I'm very well. How are you? Pleasure to see you again. Thank you for coming. Friends? Yeah, why not? Okay. Friends. How important is timing in a real relationship? It's very important. I mean, so often you, you know, I, I've definitely been in that situation before where you feel like, oh, you meet the right girl at the wrong time, or, or vice versa. And it's an all-time fight between it's possible and a true friendship between gay girl and boy. So, do you think it's true, or is it's all? <laughs> I, I definitely think it's true. I definitely think uh, men and women can be friends without sex or love getting in the way. But I do think that if, if you're friends with somebody and, and you're really you know, attracted to them and, and if you fancy them, then that, that, that becomes a different thing and then it becomes more complicated and probably eventually you will have to deal with it in some way. Yeah, true. Ben, are you here? Hi, thanks for coming by. Are you trying to sleep with my girlfriend? Oh, no, God, I wouldn't. Don't worry, we're just, we're just talking guys. Okay. We were talking behind the scenes about Comic Con. So how fun was you know the Spider-Man thing was super <laughs> super fun. So how was for you the experience? Your first time there? Actually? Yeah, it was my first time there. It was fantastic. Um, Comic Con is just such a a place of such a great atmosphere. Mm. Everyone's in a really good mood. Um, and yeah, and I got Happy Birthday sung to me by 6,500 people oh. in Hall H, which is an experience I will never, <laughs> never forget. Happy birthday to you. Thank you very much. Can we expect also a real superhero movie coming for you? Or did you get the... Um, I don't know. I mean, I would love to... Yeah, I, lo I love superhero. I grew up reading lots of comic books and I love, you know, the whole superhero world. And so, yeah, I would definitely love to do uh, uh, one of those kind of movies. But I don't, I'm struggling to even think of like what's, uh, what's left. I mean, so many of the, the yeah. big superheroes have been, have been done and done really well. You know, you, the Chris Nolan Batman films are just extraordinary. Not that I would ever be Batman, but um, not but that Robin, I, you I'm say that you could be Robin. You know, I said that as a joke and it just went everywhere. But I, I would, because Robin later turns into Nightwing and I would totally be Nightwing. Nightwing's awesome. It's just the red and the gold and the green of Robin, I don't think would work for me so But that's much. a classic, you know, 1960s Robin. Yeah, that's like Adam West yeah. era Robin. But uh, yeah, no, I'm not sure if I'll be doing that one, but uh, yeah. <laughs>